The first cohort of students from the Guam Community College's earmarked Congressional Grant Program graduated this morning at the campus's multi-purpose auditorium. Assistant Director of Continuing Education and Workforce Development Victor Rogers says over 30 students have taken an opportunity to be part of the military build-up process. But he adds it wouldn't have been possible without the efforts of Congressman Madeline Berdalio and GCC President Mary Okada to secure $380,000 in funding. Rogers mentions the construction and electronics program includes classroom time and internships for both men and women. Again, this is the, just the beginning of it. We still have uh, folks who are actually in internships as we speak today and another couple of cycles to go. And we're really excited because this last group has eight women in it, which is really non-traditional education at its finest. And we hope that they're going to be able to take their place again in Guam's workforce future. Cherry Orozco was one of two women who graduated from the program. She discovered the training through posters about construction boot camp. However, she didn't think she'd like it, but now she's glad she completed her training and an internship with Dick Pacific. We got trained in many different fields. We got trained in carpentry and HVAC and like AutoCAD and welding, but then they make you choose like what specific one you want, and I chose AutoCAD, so yeah, I want to get better at it. Ryan Nance, another graduate of the program, says he was motivated by his mom to pursue the training. While he admits it was challenging, he discovered construction was to his liking. He says he's also more motivated to further his journeyman skills. I got into a lot of fields, welding, uh, mason, carpentry, electrical plumbing, and it was pretty good. I saw my taste in welding, and the good thing about it, I got 11 credits, which will, which actually need two years to get it, but it's cut down to two months, 120 hours classes, and... It's pretty good. GCC President Mary Okada says they are always looking for opportunities for island residents. In fact, they are still taking applications for two more full classes for construction. The program is expected to last until March of next year, but Okada says they are working on additional funding to further develop the island's local workforce. With this, um, you know, there's always opportunities for us to identify and secure more funding, and we're working on additional funding for these uh, particular types of programs because we see it as a viable um, uh, workforce development project that the college uh, can focus on.